Hmm. Niles Davis. Niles Davis. The man is an absolute beast, and that is when Jamal Charles is not on the field. He's a very solid pick, one of the best backups in the league. Yeah, I like Caniles. Caniles. All right, so our team is looking pretty solid. Got a long way to go before our next pick. Who are you targeting? Well, I'd probably say tight end. We don't have a starting tight end. Hmm. Colby Fleener's there. Larry Donnell. You think we could wait on anybody for tight end? Maybe Donnell. I don't know if we want to wait, though. I mean, he's pretty good. I think we're, we're one of the last teams to take a tight end. That was one of our strategies. You want to know a little fun fact? Yes. Larry Donnell led the league in red zone targets and was tied with Jimmy Graham. Is that for tight ends? Yes. That's shocking. Actually. That is really shocking. You would think that there would be some other tight ends that would be better than Larry Donnell in red zone targets. Yeah, I really like him. I'd like to get him. He's sure. like really good sleeper. Mm-hmm. Marcus Wheaton just went. Decent. Decent pick. Number three, definitely behind Bryant. That's a high-powered offense. That's a good pick. I like it. He's actually a really, really good player. Hmm. Not fancy. Well, I don't <laughs> know how to put it. David Cobb just went. Is he is he fighting Bishop Sankey for the number one job? Or is he just chilling? I don't even know. I think it's just timeshare right now. Ooh, that You you do not want to get in the backfield with the timeshare. That would suck. Mariota's going to rush for a million yards this season. So I would say about four to 500. But I would say like four to 500 million. Okay. So... <laughs> Love Mariota. And Colby Fleener just went. Oh, wow. Love Fleener. I Love do him. like Fleener. That's a, I like that pick a lot, actually. Yeah, it's a good spot Andrew for him. Andrew Luck, QB. That's a really good tight end. I like it. Yeah, I, just, I don't really know what's going on with Dwayne Allen. I didn't look too much into Fleener Yeah, they kind of split time, so. Yeah, it kind of sucks. But you got to realize, Andrew Luck and Colby Fleener were roommates in college. So they like they, they have intimacy that you don't have with Dwayne Allen. So. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. But... Fleener really didn't start playing good until Allen got hurt last year. Yeah, that was after week, what, eight or nine-ish? Yeah, but it's definitely a good risk pick. I still like Jimmy Hill way better than Fleener. Jimmy Hill, yes. Take Jimmy Graham's stats, throw him in half, and that's what you can at least expect from Jimmy Hill. Yeah, that's kind of nasty. Just take his stats and slash him in half. It's Jimmy Hill's That's at the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So I like that. High-powered offense, 25, 30 points a game. Playing in the dome all day. I mean, I like it. And his name is Jimmy. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, what's going on here? Funches. Oh, Funches and Funches. Funches. Wow. Chilling with Cam in that offense. I think I'm a Panthers fan this year. <laughs> I'm converting to the Panthers fan. Yeah, you got to get a Cam jersey, right? I'm getting a Cam jersey right after this video. You getting a fake one or a real one? I'm getting, oh, I might get a fake one from China. I don't know yet. What's the best place? I'll probably get a real one because it's Cam. I love Cam. Yeah. I got to give him that money. You got to support him. Yeah, Cam gets a percentage, I think, right? I would think they get like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably get a real Cam jersey, wear it every single day. How much do real jerseys cost? Like uh, $500 million. <laughs> It's a little... <laughs> so if I want to buy a Nike Elite jersey... It's like $1,000. <laughs> if I want to buy an actual one, how much do they cost? I think like 100 maybe. That's it? Yeah, I'm going to buy one right now. Oh, that's pretty cheap. Uh, who is that? Denard Robinson. Oh. Shoeless. Shoelace. <laughs> Shoeless, shoelace. <laughs> I like him. I liked him last year. I picked him up. He cost a decent amount of money because Toby died, but... um. He plays on a Jacksonville offense. I don't. I think he's splitting carries with Yeldon, and I like him, but I don't love him. He plays on a bad defense. You know what? You know who's here? Who? That I'm looking at for our next pick, and he's like third on the depth chart at his position. I would not but want he, a third running back. But he still is going to be on the field and get the ball a ton from what I'm reading. I don't think anyone here is on the field that's going to get the ball a ton on the board. There is, though. Yeah. Darren Sproles. Oh, Darren Sproles. People, you need to know about Darren Sproles. They aren't even playing him at running back right now. They're playing him at wide receiver. He's playing in a slot position? Yes. And they're trying to increase his touches to around 12 a game. So we could get somebody with great skill, great talent this late, and is going to get 12 touches a game. I mean, that's going to be a great pick. So fun fact about Darren Sproles. Last year, he was tied for 10th with TDs. He had eight TDs last year, and he was barely on the field. That Chip Kelly offense, Chip Kelly likes to give 
fast players of the ball. He's very fast. I don't care if he's number three on the depth chart. He's playing behind Matthews and um, that okay running back from Dallas. What's yeah. his name? Uh, it's a Marco Schmurry or De- something. Marco, yeah. So, um, <laughs> I like Sproles a lot. If he's playing on in the receiver room position and also it's PPR, he can get a lot of catch- catches. So that's a nice pick. And yeah. why is he on the board? <laughs> yeah, they're like. They were lining him up at receiver and like doing like end arounds to him and everything, just trying to get him a ton of touches. He's quite old. He's about thirty two, but um, I, I think would... I think it's gonna be a steal of the pick. I do like it. All right, so let's go ahead and, and take he just him. had Tony Homo go. So. <laughs> Tony Homo, you're not good, bro. You have a good O line. You had Demarco Murray. All they did was throw it to Dez in the area. So I don't think you're good. So get out of here. Yeah, we don't want you. Oh. Uh. Here we go. Darren Sproles. Let's take him. I like this pick a lot. And also, I think he had about 800 combined yards last year. That's nasty. Receiving and catching. And also, you get points if he gets a return, pump return TD, or kick return TD. So he's on the field a lot. Yeah, I like that rule. Like, if you score a touchdown, no matter what, you should definitely get points for it. That I think that's a very good pick. I mean, he's chilling on our bench, too. Oh, my God. I love that pick. So <laughs> That makes our team really deep. That gives deep. us a lot of depth. Wow. Holy So taking fuck. him here. Um, do we got to take a tight end next or take a backup QB? You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for tight end. Tight end? All right. Yeah, let's, because I remember last year we did oh, this. God. We didn't, last year. We didn't have a tight end and it kind of killed us in the playoffs. So, time. Yeah. last year we drafted Charles Clay and we drafted, who's our backup to Charles Clay? I can't even remember. Ugh, it was bad. But Charles Clay had nice, he had nice, uh, red zone. Yeah, stats. we drafted Charles Clay based on his... That was a bust. Um, yeah, that was a bad pick. Yeah, that was bad. We we didn't have a tight end last year. Um, that really messed up our team. Yeah, I really like Larry Donnell and Jimmy Hill. Which one do you think we should take first? Uh, I think people would take Donnell over Hill. I don't think people really know about Hill, honestly. If they don't really watch football. Yeah, that's true. And they're both rated really low. Hill is basically not even he's in this draft. The, he's yeah. buried on these boards, so. So, yeah, I'm definitely hopefully. The Seahawks defense? Wow. Clown. Dude, that was us last year taking the defense. Yep. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, we took defense. So we could have had nasty tight ends. So, taking a de- just don't take a defense. That's it. Enough said. Yeah, we ended up streaming. A de- we took two top five defenses, allegedly, and then ended up dropping them and streaming defenses come playoff time. That's the only way to go is stream. Yep. So, I mean, in a 20-round draft, you, can take, you don't have to take defense last pick, but... You pretty much want to take it close to the right. last pick. And the difference between this and a lot of drafts, I think a lot of t- drafts are probably like 12 or 14 rounds. With the, such a deep draft, you have a six extra players. So, you, I mean, there's not as many good free agents every week. So, you kind of – these picks are still important. You want yeah. players who are going to have a chance to have a high ceiling. They, they're going to make the roster. But, um, honestly, a lot of these guys are going to be at dropping. But you can still find a good player in these rounds if you hit, if you make a nice call. So, I hope we're going to get Donnell here. Yeah. He did have six TDs last year. He blew up last year, I believe, against the Redskins in week four. He had three touchdowns in the first half, and that's when he was unknown. So Yeah, and he just looked like a beast. He, he's huge. Oh, I do like that Latimer pick. He's the number three, right? In uh, Peyton Manning's offense? Oh, uh, yeah. Basically, uh, Wes I Walker. Like, I like that. <laughs> yeah, Wes Walker. Could put up Wes year. Walker Not. stats, yeah. He, did, he was garbage. Wes Walker doesn't have concussions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, does, he doesn't go to Kentucky Derby either. In, in yeah, he so, doesn't yeah. go to Kentucky Derby ever. <laughs> yep, he's normal. <laughs> uh, nice. I really, really want to know. I want to have nice tight ends this year. Yeah, Danell's not a sexy pick, but he's a safe pick. I think he could blow up, though. Really? Oh, my God. He's... He's got all the physical tools. He could catch, and he gets all those red zone looks. You know, like he's a former about. quarterback at Grambling State. No, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He's like just learning how to play tight end. He oh my god, play. he's gonna be nasty. So we had Kevin Rudolph go before. Um, so we do got our man. Nice. I'm pumped we got him. Sniped him. How tall is he? Six six. Oh my god, he's definitely like six Fun nine. Fun fact: He's basically the same size as Cam Newton. Wow, that's crazy. To Cam think Newton's about Cam. basically the size of a tight end. Wow. He's about 6'5", 250. We're talking about Cam again. I'm getting a Cam jersey. <laughs> oh, I'm getting one ASAP. ASAP. All right. So, I actually really hope that Hill lasts and we can get him back-to-back. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Jimmy I would do. Hill. 
I think he should last all the way up and down the draft. I've actually seen Hill go as high as like round seven. Yeah, I've seen him go really high. Like all the experts take him very early because they're His smart, potential. like us. Yep. Because a tight end on a top five offense, you want. Yeah, think of yeah. And I was just looking at New Orleans' schedule. It is one of the easiest schedules in the entire league. Is it? Oh my God, yes. If you think about that division, like there's not really good defense in that division at all. Like maybe the Panthers um, you a little bit. The Fal- Falcons, the Panthers, the Bucks, and the Saints. Oh, that's a really good point. They they basically all play in domes. Yeah, Actually, it's not true. Half of them do, but yeah, yeah. That. <sighs> like yeah, the schedule. Oh my God, yeah, it looks so easy. So I really want to get Jimmy Hill. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully he'll dunk on goalposts. That the, Goodell would let him do it. And we just had a defense go. Wow, God. another defense? I bet there's a run on defense. You'll notice here. monkey see monkey doing drafts because people panic. Yeah, when it's they so funny. see one thing go. Like the wide receivers all started going. You saw going. the wide receivers go early in the drafts. Now I have a feeling going to see defenses go because someone took him. They're like, oh no, I got to take a defense. But little do they know they're going to be streaming a defense and they're going to waste that pick when they can get someone of a decent value. Someone who might pop in a defense, they all pretty much give you the same points every game. Oh, my God. Hit or miss. Another defense. You're right. <laughs> oh. Another defense. God. These I'm, guys are idiots. I'm just glad that we're not taking a defense. We did it the year before, and we learned from that mistake. Yeah. So. Uh, it definitely, definitely hurt us. Oh, my God. They're all going to pass over Jimmy Hill, I bet, and take defenses. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy Hill. Oh, my God. The potential he has. He, he just did, did have a good number of TDs last year as well. So. Yeah, I was watching some of his highlights. Basically, all whip routes. Hmm. Watch me whip. Watch me nae nae. Watch me whip. Watch me nae nae. Okay. Oh, man. I love our team. <clears throat> what team are going to run with in Madden this year? Um, franchise. Franchise? Yeah. What are you going to have the viewers watch? I like the Rams. Um, probably the Rams. Yeah, you can do a Rams franchise. Yeah, because I could kind of like blow them up and stuff. I mean, not their de- defense, but I could blow up their offense. You gonna try to rebuild them in the, in one year, or what's the plan? Oh, I could probably do it one year. Their defense is so nasty. They got a ton of nice players that are young. What would you play on? Oh, Madden. Oh, you got to go all Madden, right? Oh, it's not even fun if you play on any other difficulty. <laughs> Like, you could, like, if you play an all-pro, you win by 70 points every game. Yeah, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. You need, all Madden is actually really hard, you know. Release date's coming up. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's coming up. Football's back, baby. Tyler Eifert? Uh, It's his second year, correct? Interesting pick. Yeah. Oh, McKinnon won. Be right back. I believe they drafted um, Jermaine Gresham, and he didn't pan out. Nice pick. Yeah. So. I don't know. Basically, all these guys in the draft are idiots. (laughs) <laughs> I hope they don't watch this. Funny thing is, is that they are drafting players with no ceiling. I mean, you just got to listen to Lil Wayne. No ceilings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Bills. Oh. Wait, your, what? Great strategy. Jeez. Told you. They're Monkey all going to pass on Jimmy Hill. Bro. Oh, man. I could see if this was like a mock draft. Like, just mess with them, but <laughs> putting money on this team and like, come on, man. Yeah. Okay, let me try to guess who this guy's going to pick. Um, defense. No, I'm gonna bet Ruben Randall. Why do you say Ruben Randall? <laughs> I don't know. I just got a weird feeling. <laughs> Ruben Randall. Oh my God, he <laughs> killed me last year. Oh, we thought we were so smart. What? Oh my God. So what happened was we had Victor Cruz, and we, so we picked up Ruben Randall, and then we would not pick up Odell Beckham because, <laughs> because we, we already had, had Randall Ruben Randall and Cruz. Yes. That's why we got screwed. That's why we never picked up Beckham because I'm a huge Giants fan. I mean. Oh, I love Beckham coming out of just, the draft. It was the stupidest thing ever. I mean, you can you <laughs> Probably cost us $200,000 was Ruben yeah, Randall. Yeah, I mean, oh, God, I don't even want to get into it. Oh, man. Yep. He did have over 100 targets. Ruben Randall, solid player. Yeah, he did. Um, he, he had solid fantasy stats. Now he's the third wheel in New York. But he just York. killed us, yep. But um, they did throw him the ball a ton in the red zone. I mean, they, they gave him a lot of looks. So he's boys with, um, what's his name too? Beckham. So Yeah, from LSU. Yeah. Oh, I was right. Ruben Randall. Oh, my God. What a guess. How did I know that? 
Man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How would you guess a player? Let me like, go. Let me go look up his red zone stats. Hold on. Okay. Um, Ruben Randall. Oh, he's pretty high. He's top twenty. He had twenty one red zone targets. That's pretty nasty. That's a lot. Yeah. That's more than Manny Sanders, more than Kelvin Benjamin. So that's kind of a lot. Wow, those are two studs too. That's yeah. shocking. That's shocking. Yeah, there was a decent decent fantasy like stats, but I don't know. And we had he the Houston us. defense going Roy Hallou. So wow. bro, you take the Houston defense, you don't get points for JJ Watt scoring TDs on offense, so nice pick. Wow, the Texans defense, I don't even think they're that good. He probably just picked them because they're on hard knocks. Yeah, probably just because he loves J.J. Watt. Yeah. J.J. Watt's such a try-hard. Actually, J.J. Watt was in the league um, the first episode of Season 5 last year. So he was actually in that episode. And uh, he drafted Ruxin's team. He drafted uh, oh, he drafted no the Houston Texans defense first. <laughs> uh, so, man, J.J. Watt. That's funny. Actually, that show is sick. I think it comes out in September. Oh, uh, true. So. Pretty much our teams could be beat all their teams pretty bad we draft nasty like we have two dirty flex players who could we beat what are you talking about oh like in the league oh the tv show yeah we could, <laughs> we could beat all them we'd win every year if we were in that <laughs> uh, i think they play in an eight person league too so wow eight person league you yeah. have no skill you gotta play 12 and we just had boom go boom boom haran oh and colin and colin cap uh, man wow. has a nice td sally but that's about it yeah, he's got a pretty sweet Sally. Just his team kind of sucks. I think he has the NFL record for yards for rushing for a QB. It dropped like 190. Oh. So. Wow. I think he also has the NFL record for most tattoos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, don't take anyone to San Francisco ever. Well, at least this year. Oh, Darren McFadden? <laughs> Darren McFadden. Yo, you get he, burned by him every year. Every year he's like, this is the year, this is the uh. year, this is the year, this is the year. And it never happens. Who's that? That guy doesn't even have a picture. It's Devontae Parker. Oh, I can't read it. Yeah. I'm pretty far away from the computer right now. So that's Louisville product. Pretty crowded receivers on that team. I like Parker. But. He's tall. I, I don't know why the Vikings didn't take him, so Teddy Bridge couldn't throw to him. Who'd the Vikings take? Uh, Trey Waynes. Trey Waynes looked terrible in that Hall of Fame game. Who'd he get burnt by? Uh, Just everybody. Like Sammy Coates. Sammy Coates. The Clemson product? Uh, Sammy Coates from Auburn. Auburn. Uh, Trey Wayne's from Michigan State. And Devontae Parks from Louis. Yeah. All right. Everybody's still passing on your boy. So we're still looking for hell. That's our go-to. I would love to have him. I mean, we could take a backup QB. I like Teddy Bridge. Oh, I love Teddy, Teddy Bridge. Bridge. I think he's an awesome backup he QB. He played very, very, very well last year. Uh, yeah. The second half of the season. I don't know his stats, but he I'm played very to, well. Yeah, he like, um, especially with like this surgence of what's his name, Charles Johnson. He played even better. He averaged almost two touchdowns a game. No, he didn't. Oh yeah, really? That's uh, really good. Bridgewater, yeah, it was like one point seven or something. That's nice. Yep, and I think he finished out as like a top six quarterback. Don't quote me on that. Like for that little period of games. <laughs> we just had Chris Polk go as well as Malcolm Floyd. Oh, those are all good players. Chris Polk? Is he even, like, third string? Um, I can see what that guy's trying to do there. He's trying to figure out the Texans' backfield. Yeah, but, I mean, Arian Foster's only out for a few games. So, why would you want someone on yeah. such a low? Like, he hasn't... <sighs> I don't understand that pick at all. So, Malcolm Floyd, I like that, though. I feel like he's all right. Um, yeah. I mean, not I bad definitely for got these, skill. These rounds. Oh, my God. Look at our team. It's so nasty. Whose team is this? This team's terrible. Is that our team? I could feel. I could feel if you're watching this, you don't. We don't like your team. Yeah, your team sucks. Jeremy Macklin at receiver. He was only good last year, bro. <laughs> yeah. Now he has uh, Alex Smith. Do the, the ball. Chiefs like wide receivers catch touchdowns? No, <laughs> they don't. We know that it's a fact. Like so. in the history of the Chiefs' existence, the wide receivers never caught a touchdown. The last receiver to catch a touchdown was Priest Holmes. Yeah. <laughs> He was a fantasy god, dude. <laughs> oh my god! Like that's when fantasy was crazy. Yeah, you had the years when Sean Holmes, Alexander, and um, LT. LT, those they were like god. those were the golden years of the running back. That's when running backs were drafted, bar none, like uh -huh. top first two rounds without a doubt. I still remember my very first uh, 
draft pick of fantasy football ever. Guess who it was? It wasn't it was a quarterback. What how old were you? Oh my god. I was probably just a a little boy. <laughs> what year was this so I can get a good good guess? <laughs> Dude, it was Dante Culpepper. Wow, Culpepper was a beast He was Andy Moss. An absolute beast. That season, oh my god, he was by far like the number one fantasy player by like 200 points. Wow, oh my god. Dude, now players are flying off the board. Okay. He had Percy Harvin, the head case, who's been on 30 NFL teams, as well as Eric Ebron. <laughs> Slight, slightly disappointing last year. I think he scored one TD. I, I think I actually picked him up when he scored that one TD, and I was pumped. <laughs> um, streamed him hard, but I uh, cut him right after. So. <laughs> streamed him so hard. But Percy Harvin, man, he has so much talent. He just can't put two and two together. He's just a head case in the locker room, man. How many teams has he been on? I think four? Oh, my God. I think like 10. Four? Is that right? Yeah. Go. <laughs> Teddy Bridge, no. No way. That was uh, our backup, man. I wanted him so bad. Louisville products, AP back. Yeah, okay. A lot of good signs. Real talk. Would you draft Teddy Bridgewater if he didn't have like uh, Y at the end of his first name? I think he's so much cooler with the, with the Y at his... But what's his real name? Ted, probably. No, it's not. Theodore? It's probably Ted. Mm, I don't know. Teddy's so cool. That's a cool name. Hakeem Nicks? Oh, my God. I think he scored one TD last year. What team is he on? Is he still on the Colts? No. I think he's on a different team. Um, but that's an easy pick for us. Gonna he's take on Josh Tennessee. Hill. Wow, Tennessee. I loved him on the Giants. He won a Super Bowl. Thank you, based God. But not. Whoa, we got Jeezy Hill. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Jeezy Hill. Jeezy. So, anyways, sorry for that banter, but um, <laughs> at least cut Jimmy Graham's stats in half. He's going to be a nice pick. Now we got two tight ends we could run with either Hill or Donnell every week, and I love that option. That's great. Oh, yeah, I'm pumped. Uh, Jeezy Hill says it will receive a ton of snaps. Is he the start? He's the starter, right? Ben Watson? Uh, no. Ben no. Watson's like 50, bro. You're not going to start someone 50. It, yeah, he's the starter right now, but <laughs> Hill will definitely overtake that role. Um. Yeah, so I love GZ Hill. Everybody should go out and draft him. Yes, take the man in New Orleans offense. Drew Brees at QB. Top five offense. Plays in a dome, baby. Eight games a season. Also, probably ten games a season. Plays in a dome in that nice weather. Yep. Pumped. GZ Hill. Our team is looking nice. Big improvement from last year. Yes. Our critical mistakes last year was taking a defense too early. Taking a... I mean, taking a defense too early as well as taking poor tight ends. We did the back-to-back -back strategy. So now we have two solid tight ends that we can play based on matchups. If someone's hot, we got it done. Yeah, with the 20-round draft, you can definitely get away with carrying two tight ends on your team. Yep. It's all about deepness with these 20-round drafts. Yeah. The team has oh. to be deep. and has to be thick. has to be solid. has to be tight. And by the way, we give zero fucks about buys. <laughs> we literally give yeah, zero. Yeah, please zero. don't yeah. draft a team based on like, oh no, I'm gonna have my two studs out on the same bye week. That's don't ever one do week. that. Just base your team off to make the playoffs. First concern. Yep. Second concern, you gotta ball out those three weeks in the playoffs. You gotta ace your first picks, and then yep. you need to have the best players available. You need to draft them. I would say you need to ace your first four or five rounds. Yeah, and I you mean, have to. If you don't, you get two busts in your first four picks, your team's done. It's That's it. Oh, there goes the handcuff to Jonathan Stewart. Who's that? Curtis Artis Is Payne. Rook? I don't know. I didn't even know about him in the NFL draft, so he must not be that good. I wouldn't – I don't even know what that is, so I don't care. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Who are you looking at here? Now we're looking at the 14th round. So, ah, uh, man. Let's try <laughs> to find, like, a good player that – Pretty much, we have to get a backup here. Do you want to look at a receiver, or do you want to look at? We definitely need running backs. We quarterback? No. We need some more running backs. Um, who's there for quarterback? I don't even know. Carson Palmer. Ooh, I do love Carson Palmer. He'd be a really good backup. Yeah, he's. He could even start for some teams. Yeah. In fantasy. He played really good when he was playing last year. <clears throat> um. Oh, I wonder if Monte Ball's here. Monte Ball. Yeah. He's the backup oh, he to is. CJ, right? Yeah. What do you think about him? I do like him. Last year, he was actually a first-round pick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if CJ goes down. Yep. He was disgusting in college. And you know that whatever running back is in that system is going to do well because defenses 
never put in the box to stop the run. You know what? They always get a thousand yards that Denver running game. Yep, and always. Peyton Manning throws for a four K every year, so I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, let's go ahead and take ball. That'd be if CJ goes down, then that's a dirty, dirty pick. And I know this is a deep draft. I mean, most of you guys drafts probably be twelve or fourteen teams, but since it's twenty, we're looking for depth. And the crazy thing is, these guys aren't handcuffing their players. We want to take their backup. I mean, look at the top running backs. Le'Veon Bell is D'Angelo Williams. Eddie Lacy is Jimmy Starks. Jamal Charles is Niall Davis. Peterson is oh McKinnon. I like McKinnon. A yeah, lot. that's a good pick. Um, Somebody Forte is Carey. Uh, Kareem Carey. I love Carey. Do like Carey Lynch is. Um, I don't know. I don't even know Lynch's backup. No, is. no, no. It's like Michael, it's, uh, Christine Michael, or Turbin. I can never figure then, out um, who's his backup. I mean, Demarco is Ryan Matthews. Shady is Fred Jackson, and then CJ is Monte Ball. Hill is Bernard. So. All these guys, all these top 10 running backs, if they go down, these handcuffed running backs, if they don't draft them, are going to be number one on the waiver wire very quick. So, yeah, we're going to take them. Let's go ahead and grab Ball. Who just went? Who is that? We took Uh, Ball, and I think that's a great pick. Oh, Antonio Gates. Oh, my God. Wow. He's suspended for four games, but um, he gets it done. Yeah, I love him. He gets it done. I I like it. That's a good pick. I like it. I don't care if he killed it last year. So, I like it. Ooh. Let's see. Look at that team. My God. That is stacked. I'm pumped. We got two absolute stud wide receivers and two running backs that will give us 1,000 yards and possibly double-digit touchdowns. Based cam. And we have two absolute potential fiends in Martavis Bryant and Jordan Matthews. Yes, I mean, this draft has gone very well so far, but you don't make your draft in the first 10 picks. You don't make it in the first 15 picks. You make it every single pick. Every you single make pick. every pick <laughs> counts, okay? Oh. I don't care. I don't care if you do it for the LOLs, if you draft a player. Oh, look, I drafted someone <laughs> that no one's going to draft. <laughs> look, I it's drafted not Adrian Peterson funny. in the 15th round from Chicago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not funny. You're going you're gonna to lose, bro. So make it count. Oh, my God. I used to do that in fantasy baseball. I used to draft players for the LULs. And <laughs> the I would draft, like, Trot Nixon. Like. <laughs> actually, you know what's actually pretty funny is when you do mock drafts and you draft someone in the first round that's not even there. Oh, it's so funny. That, that's people funny because like, people get so mad uh, in the comments. They get so, like, so mad. So, like, in the first round, you take, you take like, um, Heath Miller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take, like... <laughs> Dude, that's just so funny. People are like, oh my god, you're messing up my draft. Take, like, Steve McNair. Oh. <laughs> Zombies. <dude. laughs> like, oh, man. You know who's going to get so too? mad. You know he got to take after Steve McNair? Chris Henry. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, it's kind of fucked up. But how many mock drafts do you do? Me, a million. Because the more you do... The more you know, let them know the best yeah. site to do mock drafts. Ooh, I don't know. Can we give a shout out? You yeah, know what? yeah. Give a shout out. That site has been so helpful. What is it? Fantasy calculator. Fantasy football calculator. Yep, you get right in a mock draft and you can figure out where everybody's going. That's how we knew like Bryant shouldn't have been there because on the mock drafts on that site, he was going in round four. You could not get him after round four. Right. And with that site, it's great. You can pick what type of league you're in. If you're doing dual quarterback, if you're doing half PPR, if you're doing standard. Yep. You also get to pick what number draft pick you get. They got so mock drafts for everything. Yep. I know in some leagues, you don't get to know your pick until the league is full or whatever. But you can basically do a draft anytime. Within uh, 10 minutes, you get to do a draft. And it some if it doesn't fill, it does auto pick for the guys who doesn't fill. But mm-hmm. um, most of the guys are pretty serious in there. You get good advice too, so that's a legit site and it's free. Yeah, you they're not, can't beat it. Yeah, they they really don't mess around on that site. Like nobody's really taking like, you know, joke players. Yeah, joke then. players. So I like that site. And the only other site I would look at for statistics, um, what's that site called? Um, Pro Football Focus. Yeah, I like Pro, Pro Football, Football Focus. Focus a lot, and I like uh, Junkyard Jake. Junk dude. I don't yeah. know how we found Junkyard Jake. That's my favorite website. But this yeah. guy goes over all the all the targets each week. Um, snap counts. Snap counts. And um, so Junkyard Jake, check that out. And also, one of the best things to look at week to week is the, um, what's it called? Snap. No, not snap counts. Snap yeah, counts, you got to know your snap so counts. So there's an article that comes out on CBS Sports every week. 
it is the like weekly weekly snap counts or something. So it gives yeah. you how the percentage of the percentage of the time the player is on the field. So you get to see how long your running backs are on the field, how long the receivers are on the field, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. That's very helpful in picking up players and ad dropping. Yeah, I definitely love drafting players that are on the field all the time. Yes, yes. So those are our kind of the only things we'll look at throughout the season, and the only place we'll check like fantasy news is uh, Rado Wire. Yeah, Rado Wire. Rado World. Uh, World. some like Rado World or something. Yeah, yeah. That is the only thing we'll actually look at. RT Sports doesn't really have the best like analysis on players and whatnot, but um. So the only only check a few because the more you read, the more it'll mess up your mind. If you're looking to if you read too much, and you take someone's advice like, I oh no, I only trust this writer from CBS, <laughs> or I only trust this writer from ESPN, and oh these are the rankings for their projections, and he's ranked 13th, so I'm definitely starting him, and I trust this guy is going 18th on the rankings. So you got to trust yourself at the end of the day. And um, mm-hmm, that's, that's how you make the picks because you, you're, you're the only one to blame if you make the bad call on a start sit em. We had a first kicker go. Who went? Goskowski. What? That's way too early for a kicker. Way too early. Same thing with kickers. You could stream them. Like, I'm much, I'm, that's a good pick. I'd much rather take Buck Allen than Goskowski. Yep. Uh, wow. There goes our handcuff, Matt Jones. Out of Florida. Pretty big man. Backing up Alfred Morris. Hmm. It's not bad. I feel like a lot of at? handcuffs are gonna go net coming up. Yep. So yeah, the kicker defense will leave probably. Probably start thinking about taking one, maybe a couple picks. Take a what? Uh, kicker defense. We don't necessarily have to take them last round. I mean, since you stream them, it doesn't. Yeah. Entirely matter. Uh, let's see. Oh, D'Angelo went. That's good. Good pick. I like D'Angelo. That's a nice pick. Oh, let's look at these other guys' teams. Look at this guy's squad. Like, the guy with the dual tight ends. Yeah, you're definitely going to win. <laughs> Bad strategy. Don't do it. Don't ever do that. I like Devontae Adams, though. Yeah. He's, I don't know, he's a good player. Like, if Cobb or Jordy goes down, knock on wood. Oh, Devontae. I thought you meant Devontae Parker. That's my fault. Uh, so, I do like Adams. Yeah, I actually picked him up last year in, um, in hopes he would do well. He had, a, he had a few good games near the end of the season. Pierre had, Thomas had even TVs. on a team? Pierre Thomas? I don't think he's even on a team. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Either way, I don't care about him. Jonas Gray. Ooh. He's on New Orleans. I don't know. I wouldn't draft... Uh, a Bill Belichick running back. I wouldn't draft Jonas Gray because he shows up late to meetings. I don't want that on my team. Belichick, you're a stickler for time, bro. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> the Bill Belichick football life is really good. Uh, I never watched it. Oh, you gotta watch that, man. I don't really like him, so I probably won't ever watch it. <laughs> nah, if he was if he was on the street, would you say what up to him? Punch him in the face. Yeah, you think he'd be wearing a hoodie in this weather? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he loves the hoodie. He loves hoodies. Actually, that's pretty funny. Some coaches have that like ritual of what they wear every game. I mean, you got Belichick's hoodie, you got Harbaugh and his like sharpie and his like uh black. Mike Tomlin and his stunner shades, <laughs> looking like that dude from you House. Got sexy Rexy in his vest. Oh, yeah. Any other coaches do that? Um, hmm. No? No, I think that's it. Oh, uh, that's it. Oh, who is left on the board? Oh, Gino. He's Gino! <laughs> I would love to take a Jets quarterback. There's, they have so much potential. <laughs> His jaw is fine. <laughs> uh, who is that baby girl who hit him? Oh, uh, IK something. What's his real name? I don't know. IK? IK. I think it's Ick. Ick? <laughs> Ick. The Icky Shiffy. Oh, uh, Philly Dorsett. Great pick. Great pick. That's oh, a, I like him. That's a very... he. He's number three, right? Yeah, the is only that, reason why I wouldn't take him earlier is because Moncrief is there. Oh, he might be 3-4. Yeah, he might dude, be like that's four. nice. Philly Dorsett out of Miami. They say like he's it. like an absolute stud. Like, he's really, really good. That, was, that term is used so much in fantasy. Stud. Stud. It really is. There's got to be yeah. some other words to call players. I think, stud. wow, oh my god, our team is so filthy. I can't get over this. We might win 200k. <laughs> oh, Lee Fook. If Ooh. we do? Yep. I wouldn't even be real. Oh, no, I'd probably die. <laughs> I'd probably die. <laughs> We'd win it, and then I Dude, would die. I, 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 don't, I don't even know what I would do. Yeah, I can't even imagine that. I mean, that. that's on, like, to play fantasy sports and have the potential to do that, that's so ridiculous. Yeah, I love this league. Oh, so Yeah, new. this is legit. Um, Who are we going to take next? Dude, I don't, uh, I don't even know, man. Should we just try to find some more running backs? 
Yeah, we got to take a uh, handcuff running back. Hmm. So we got Stephen Ridley on the Jets on the board. Um, we got Lance Dunbar. Uh, is he the number two? No, he's number three. Yeah, he's going to be um, three. Brandon Oliver. Uh, like Oliver. Robert Turbin. Huh. Let's see. I like Carey. Fred Jackson. I kind of like. What do you think about Fred, Fred Jackson? He had 1,000 total yards last year and a ton of targets. I wouldn't believe that. that yeah, real? that's real. So Fred Jackson, he doesn't really age. Rex Ryan loves to run the ball. Although McCoy's going to get a lot of carries. If Fred Jackson doesn't get hurt, he should have a good good amount of yards in that Buffalo offense. And he's ground and pound till he dies, Rex Ryan. Yeah, Rex Ryan is never the, just giving the carries to one running back. And the Bills offense Thomas Jones. is much yeah. improved. They're pretty scary. You know, you got EJ Slingin. I don't even know if he's starting. No. I don't care. You got <laughs> McCoy and Jackson. You got Harvin. You got Slam and Sammy. You got Chris Hogan. You got Charles Clay. You got Percy Harvin. Did I miss anyone on that offense? Sammy? Yeah, I got Sammy. Oh, you got Sammy. So that's a pretty nice... Oh, Robert Woods. That, that's a, that, oh, I like Robert that Woods. That offense is improving, so he's not in a bad situation. Yeah, I want to see... Uh... Yeah, here we go. He's right at the top of the list for red zone Who? targets. Fred Jackson. No way. 66 receptions last year. He was targeted 90 times. That's insane. What? Yep. 90 targets? 90 targets. Oh my god, that's amazing. And he had 500 yards and a TD. That's that's a ton. Red zone, he was Dude, targeted. that's more than a ton of receivers. He was tar- that's yeah. actually a snipe. He was targeted eight times in the red zone. That's pretty good, too. That is... Yeah, he's like the only running back with uh, better kind of receiving stats would be Forte and Bell. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm kind of down with Fred Jackson. Damn, I like it. Oh, okay, so. Rounding out the end of the 15th round here. Team is so nice. I can't get over it. This is this might be the best team we've ever drafted. <sighs> a lot different. We still need a backup QB, though. We can't just, we need to have two QBs on the roster. Yeah, we definitely need a backup QB. Huh. <laughs> Remember what happened last year? Oh, my God. So, we thought we had the best strategy ever. We took back-to-back QBs. We took Cam, and then we took Nick Foles. And Nick Foles was nasty, and Cam was dead. So, it kind of was working, but then Nick Foles died. So, <laughs> it was kind of like a it, waste of a pick. Yeah. we kind of, I mean, Nick Foles, I think, went 27-2 and two on TVs, the INTs, the previous year, so we were high on him. Yeah, we were real high on Nick um, Foles. But... He got injured. You can't draft a team based on someone getting injured. Like, Vic Cruz got injured, too. So, I mean, it just happens. Yeah, any Eagles quarterback is dirty. So, you got to go draft an Eagles quarterback. You could probably start an Eagles quarterback all year. Like, Bradford. I'm really high on Bradford. Oh, breaking ankles. Wanted Brian Quick. Wow. Kamish had to make a change. Kamish. Wow, this Kamish is the man. I love him. He's the only Kamish. one that's not an idiot. James White, back on the board. I love you, Kamish. <laughs> oh, Kamish is a man. I know. I love Kamish. He's the only cool one in this draft. He's the only one doing work. <laughs> Give him a quick shout out. Wow, comment section going crazy. Wow. Brian Quick, he's not a bad receiver. I mean, now you're just taking flyers on guys. So if yeah, he, that's I think a good he did pick. pretty good the first few games last year. Did he get hurt? Yeah, I like that pick. That's not bad at all. Especially with Foles there. He's gonna, oh, my God. That might actually be a really good pick. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I actually really like that. Yeah. Wow, I kind of wish we took Brian Quick. No. Not JK. <laughs> uh, Freddie Jackson probably had more targets, LOL. Oh, he did. <laughs> Let's see. That's a bad team name, too. Breaking Ankles. That's like a basketball team name. Yeah. It's not even a wrong sport, bro. So. Like our team name. <laughs> Might as well. Might as well. You know what's a really good one I think we should have used? What? Auxiliary cord. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great one. So that concludes <laughs> the 15th round. They took Robert Turbin, and that is Marshawn's backup. <laughs>